Japan is a remarkably hard-working country and people are taught to work here from the very childhood. Already in kindergartens, children are taught arithmetic and they need to pass exams even when entering the first grade. Failed, go to the preparatory class and try again next year. Today we're going to Japan so that we can get to know the peculiarities that education in this country has. An academic year in Japan starts in April. It's believed that spring is the time to start something new. Nature blossoms and blooms and the entire world comes out from hibernation. Japanese kindergartens are not an exception. By this moment, the kid must turn three years old. If his birthday is on the 2nd of April, then he'll have to wait another year, so he will eventually come to the kindergarten at the age of four. There are two types of kindergartens in Japan, Hoikuan and Yotian. The first one resembles ours, working from morning until late in the evening. To use it, parents must provide documents that they are both employed. Here they don't give much time and attention to an educational program, but they do provide high-quality supervision for each child. It's possible to get there from the first months. Basically, this is a kind of nursery. From the age of three, each child is assigned a place in Yotian, a state kindergarten. Just like us, Japan has both public and private kindergartens. The cost of staying in public kindergartens is calculated based on family income. Each private kindergarten has individual rules. For example, in some Tokyo kindergartens, there are strictly defined hours of bringing and picking up a child. That said, every parent has an electronic key, so it becomes clear at what time he arrived. If a parent brings or picks up the kid half an hour earlier or later, he will have to pay for this time separately. The basics of arithmetic and reading are taught to children in kindergarten. To get down to full-fledged classes, the child must learn about 2,500 symbols that allow writing and reading. To become a school student, children must take an entry exam. For those who failed the task, there is an opportunity to enter a preparatory class, to prepare better and try again in a year. But on the contrary, there is no homework in elementary school. Usually, children begin the first school grade called Sogako at the age of 6 to 7 years. Starting in elementary school lasts 6 years. During this time, school students study basic disciplines, among which are subjects of humanitarian orientation, arithmetic, environmental studies, art and physical culture. Also, significant attention is paid to learning Japanese. They also study English. Although there is no homework, the program is rather intense. From an early age, Japanese school students are taught to study a lot and work hard. By the way, as a rule, there are no cleaners at school. All their work is done by students. They wash corridors, pools, sports halls and classrooms and offices. They can use their phones only after the classes are over. Elementary school in Japanese is Shogako. Secondary school is Chudogako. And high school is Korogako. Secondary school is a period from the 7th to the 9th grade, at the second level of school education in Japan. New subjects appear here – informatics, exact sciences, global and Japanese history. Also, at this stage, students can choose subjects of a particular orientation, depending on what they want to do in the future. In fact, there are professionally oriented subjects. It is in secondary school when students have a homework for the first time. In elementary school, children study for 4 hours a day. That's a 6 hours a day in secondary school and 8 hours and more in high school, like a full-fledged day of a working person. A school lesson lasts 50 minutes. In secondary school, students start to wear school uniforms familiar to everyone. A sailor suit for girls, known to many due to Sailor Moon anime, as well as so-called Gakuran for boys, originated from the Prussian military uniforms. Wearing uniforms in Japan is compulsory, only junior grades are allowed not to wear it. In Japanese schools, it's forbidden to paint nails, dye hair or wear bright catchy clothes. And if you are a Japanese kid, make sure to bow to the teacher before and after the class. Elementary and secondary education in Japan is compulsory and free for everyone, but for high school, code you will have to pay. But to be fair, the fee is really small, about a fee, while it can be several thousand dollars per month for a private school. Japanese high school comprises three grades, 10th, 11th and 12th, and about 90% of students keep on studying there. Besides main classes, Japanese school children also attend additional classes, and they also take tutors. Tutoring in Japan is a unique 
phenomena, which is even called jukers. Why is it unique? Even if a student has an excellent academic performance, he does not miss the chance for additional study, even on holidays. Schools may have specialized profiles, thus in many of them a lot of attention is paid to the development of children's creativity. You can find professional music classes where children learn to play guitars, drums and synthesizers. Some schools even have their own sound recording studios. Young bands record their first albums there. An academic year in Japan is divided into three trimesters. The first trimester begins in April and lasts until the end of June. July and August are summer holidays, so the second trimester begins from September. Winter holidays start at the end of December and last for two weeks. After that, the third trimester begins. Exams in Japanese schools are held in the middle of a trimester and at the end. The price of a bachelor's program in a public university is about $8,000. The cost of studying in private universities is generally even higher. To enter a university, you need to usually take exams in five subjects – Japanese, mathematics, physics, history and English. In the event that an applicant has proven himself well in school and the school cooperates with an educational institution, he doesn't have to take any exams at all. Is it possible to study in Japanese universities with a scholarship? Yes, it is. At the same time, only 2 to 3 out of 100 people will get a scholarship. To get a grant, one really needs to be smart and talented. If a family has a difficult financial situation, the university may teach the student in debt. After the student gets a job each month, he will pay the university a certain amount of money. To successfully graduate from university and get a diploma, it's not enough to just pass exams. Also, you need to attend a certain amount of classes. Can a foreigner study in Japan? Yes. Is it possible to study there without knowing Japanese? Yes, again, many universities offer education in English. If you're interested in studying in Japan or in other countries, then visit our website smaps.com, where you will find the most detailed list of universities from all over the world. Smash like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss our new episodes.